Thank you very much, Quick Chat. We're here with El Expeque de Origen after going 3-0. and Incredibly impressive. Um, give us the TLDR of that game and how you guys managed to snowball it completely out of control. Well, pretty much like Emma, uh, I did nothing for 10 minutes and then we were winning. So <laughs> that, that's how it felt for me. I'm just farming, farming. And when I start see, I see that my team is starting to get kills. I'm like, nice. Vladimir, only, all I have to do is farm because we're winning. So we're going to snowball for sure. That was pretty much my impression. I guess for my, the rest of my team, it was a bit different and stressful. The perks of being an owner, just let the rest snowball yeah. it out of control. <laughs> um, we had you here at the beginning of week one. I don't want to bait you into any statements uh, after that 3-0, but I do want to know from you what kind of surprised you about how good it is going with your guys' lineup, because I feel like it might be even better than you expected coming in. It's the good thing it has, uh, and well, I knew we were going to like be good but because we were good on screams and we had good level but i was scared maybe on a stage we would be nervous we wouldn't perform or something will happen or we will be scared to try the stuff we do but it's actually kind of the opposite again so it feels really good to see that people don't get nervous they don't get scared either they're not afraid of trying what we know to do and yeah it shows that we have a good level and we're not afraid to show what we know and it seems like everybody's composed and calm and collected about yourself, this is now a week into being an owner and a player in the LCS. How does it differ from previous seasons in the LCS for you? Mm. Well, it's a bit more stressful because sometimes I worry a bit about other stuff that doesn't have to win with gameplay. But honestly, like what I do is I take a step back. I always focus on the game first. Like if something else happens, I try to be like, whatever. <laughs> someone, <laughs> someone else will fix it for me because I just want to focus on the game and at least trying to to keep a good level or a decent level that I'm not holding the team back. That's my, my main objective right now with the with everything. So as long as I'm playing, I'm not going to focus on other on anything else more than on playing. Yeah, uh, that's very interesting to me. I think you might be underplaying yourself a little bit as well because week one, 23 KDA most damage dealt in your team. It seems kind of that the fact that you also have something else to focus might be freeing you up and your gameplay is even evolving after this many years. How? What's your vision on that? Mm. I think well, one thing I do as well is uh, try to learn more from the games I play. Maybe before I would play for playing, like I had nothing to do, I'm gonna play. And now it's more when, like when I play, I actually try to get something out of it. Even if it, well, even if there are some solo queue games that I troll, that doesn't matter. But <laughs> normally I try to, even out of uh, troll solo queue games, I try to learn or focus. If if I'm not playing a champion that I'm, I know I'm not gonna play, I try to focus on the warding or on the ganks, checking the minimap. So I think I kind of try to learn more at least how to not give a stupid kills. It's something I, I haven't done so far, and I used to do a lot last season, like greed and, and die for no reason. Uh, and I think that's the, the only thing that I actually improve a lot, not giving those kills because I greed or because I don't expect a gun. And that, that's the only improvement I see on myself. Do you feel that in uh, the fact that you are the owner, that you have to be an example for your teammates as well in that? Does that come from that as well? Mm, well, not not really. Maybe if I, if I saw like there were a mess or not caring, then maybe I will try to be an example. But they are all really into the game. They play a lot. They want to win. And the, the approach we take into every loss is really, really good because we get mad like any team. What loss? Uh, scream losses. Oh. Or solo key <laughs> losses. Mostly solo key losses when people get mad. <laughs> but normally we take that approach of maybe we get mad, argue a bit, but after the discussion is over, we try to be, OK, what did we learn from this? What should we do? And in the end, we always end up agreeing, even if we lost five, ten games in a row or something, we end up being like, okay, we learned this, so it's really good actually that we lost all these games. Ah, the honeymoon phase. Well, congratulations, <laughs> 3 and 0, 0 ready for Origen. Now, coming up in just a few minutes, our last match of the day, the Unicorns of Love will be taking on the Copenhagen Wolves. It's an Animal Kingdom clash you won't want to miss. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. You need to get some what? You know, like, you like, Wah! and stuff, you know, get some battle shouts. <laughs> <laughs> you can show me. You want to be like, nice, nice. He's still alive for a few seconds longer, and the prison snipes him from downtown. Strange Scary is the next target, is amazing, flashes forward. If he goes over, though. He does, the box is connected, Sven, as well as Freddy, and amazing, connects with a two-man glacial prison. Get Maokai first, 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 get the backline, get the backline, get the backline. I will, I will, Panda, I will, Panda, Panda, holding, holding, it's uh, astonished. Just get the backline. Yeah, there, 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 there. Care for Azir, care for Azir. Yeah, just back now. And Sven gets the shutdown onto Niels at 12, 1 and 16. SK still alive as Origin have had the messiest team fight they have all game. They flung Fox in and he's down. He just gets obliterated. His HP melted like a hot knife through butter. They are now 3 and 0. 
after destroying SK Gaming.